Hiya. So this is one of my favourite questions. Okay. It comes from a long time ago, June 2001. It's the final question on the paper. And it's a mechanics question, but it's a really lovely question. I said it every single year. Okay. Um, Ed Excel got a habit of recycling questions. So there was the, there was the helicopter question, okay, which I set the class last year to do. And of course, um, a couple of weeks later, I think it was maybe a week later, it came up in the exam. All right. Um, but this is the sort of same sort of thing. It's not. It's only ever come up once. In June two thousand one. I am sure Ed Excel will use it again at some point. Um, if not this year, then sometime in the future. But anyway, it's one of my favourite questions. Uh, let me just read it to you. Okay. A mounting rescue post receives a distress call via a mobile phone from a walker who has a broken leg and cannot move. This was cutting edge at the time. Okay. Because mobile phones. There weren't many of them around in 2001, okay? So it's just like, oh wow, an exam question with a mobile phone. So these days you don't think anything of it, okay? The walker says he is by a pipeline and can also see a radio mast which he believes to be southwest of him. The pipeline is known to run north to south for a long distance through the point of the position back to Six Eye relative to um, the rescue post at the origin. The radio mast is known to be at the point of the position back to 2J kilometres relative to the origin. Use the information supplied by the walker, write down his position vector. So what we need to do is just draw a diagram. Okay, we need to draw a diagram with the, um, all the things positioned correctly. Okay, so we've got a walker who believes the radio mast is southwest of him. So I'm going to put there M for mast and W for walker. Okay, and the walker's by a pipeline which runs north to south. So let's just draw that in there. Okay, so north to south like that. Okay, so that's the pipeline and that's the radio mast that would be to the southwest of him. Okay. The radio mast is known to be at the point in position back to 2J relative to the origin. So what that means is then that must be the origin and that distance there must be 2 because it says the radio mast is 2J, no I component, so north of um, this uh, rescue post. Okay. Um, it says that the pipeline runs through the point in position back to 6i. Okay, so what that means is that that distance there, horizontally, east to west, west to east, is 6, okay, and the units are in uh, kilometres, all right? So where's the walker then, all right? Now, I'm sure you know this already, I've told you so many times, when you've got um, northeast, southeast, northwest, southwest, then you're always dealing with isosceles triangles, aren't you? Because southwest is at a direction of 45 degrees to the south, okay? So what that means is that that angle there is also 45 degrees, that's a right angle triangle, that distance is the same as that distance, okay? So that is six, because that's six as well, so that bit there is also six, and that bit there is two. So what that means is the walker, then, it's under line axis, it's gonna be a vector, is gonna be six i, and then plus 8j, okay? And that's why it's only worth two marks, you see, because we can just write it down. But the diagram is really important, okay? If you don't have a diagram of this question, yeah, forget it, you're not gonna get very far, okay? Right, next bit. The rescue party moves at a horizontal speed of five kilometers an hour. That's a nice number, you'll see why in a minute. The leader of the party wants to give the walk an idea of how long it will take for the rescue party to arrive. Okay. Why do I say it's a nice number? It's because the walk you see, you can see is um, 10 kilometres away. Okay, because if you look at the um, the distance using Pythagoras' theorem, you've got 6 squared plus 8 squared is 100, square that is 10. So the walk is 10 kilometres away. And if the rescue part are walking at 5 kilometres per hour, it's 2 hours, isn't it? Okay. Um, do we need to put any work in for that? Uh, I'm not so sure. That's part A, that's part B. I'll just go like two hours, okay, because I've shown you the work in a way. It's 10 kilometres divided by two. So that's that, okay. Next, this is where things get a bit more interesting. The rescue party sets out and walks straight towards the walker's estimated position at this constant speed of five kilometres per hour. Um, by the way, why does it say horizontal speed? Basically, it's it's assuming that the Earth is a flat surface, basically. Okay, don't confuse horizontal with east or west. That's not the case. Okay, horizontal in this case means that we're walking on flat line, flat land. There's no, there's no hills, no inclines. Okay, so it's a bit of a, a modelling situation there. 
After the party has travelled for one hour, the walker rings again. He is very apologetic and says he is now realising that the radio mast is actually northwest of his position. Oh dear, he got it wrong. Okay. Find the position vector of the walker. So let's just get the blue pen out, shall we? So actually, um, let's rub this off. The walker is not there, is he? Okay. So if the walker was there, that's southwest. The walker now, please, the mast is northwest. Okay, so let's just put this in again. So actually the walker's somewhere down by there. Okay, I'm going to label that W2 now, okay, for the position of where the walker is. Okay, um, and again, that's a 45 degree angle. Sorry, it doesn't look like uh, it's very um, isosceles, does it? No, but it is, okay. Um, so what that means is that bit there the 6 is the same as that bit there, which is also 6, okay? So the walker, walker 2, okay, I can put it as, is still 6i, this is by the pipeline, of course, 6i, but now is, let's just count it, that's the origin, so that's 2 above the origin, so he's going to be 4 below the origin, isn't he? Okay, so he's going to be 6i minus 4j, okay? That's where the walker is now okay part d find in degrees to one decimal place the bearing with which the rescue party should now travel in order to reach the walker directly well the rescue party okay so where did they get to okay we'll have to read that again okay it says the rescue party sets out and walks towards the walker after the party has traveled for one hour they stop okay so after one hour of traveling okay so they're halfway there, which means they must be half of that, okay? The rescue party must be at 3i plus 4j, okay? Which makes sense because Pythagoras' theorem again, the distance of that from the origin is five kilometers. So the rescue party are there, okay? So where do they have to go to get from there to where the walker is, okay? So the rescue party now need to walk. I'm going to leave this rw2 as a vector, okay? So from where the rescue party is now, 3i plus 4j, to where the walker is, they've got to walk 3i, and then that's going to be subtract 8j, isn't it? Okay, to get from there to where the walker is, they've got to do 3i minus 8j, so that's where they've got to go now, okay? So basically the rescue party have now got to walk sort of 3 east and 8 south, okay? And our question is, what is the bearing they're going to walk on? Okay, so the bearing, always measured from the north, is that angle there. That's what we've got to calculate. Okay, so you can see the question is actually fairly easy. Okay, just a decent diagram, making sure you're thoroughly reading the question and you're there, you know. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out that angle there first and add it to 90 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to do 90 degrees added to the inverse tan of that angle, 8 over 3. Okay, inverse tan of 8 over 3. So what is that going to be? Okay, so oh, let's just put it into radians mode. Oh gosh, how do I do that? Yep, not radians, degrees mode. I was in radians mode, I'm putting degrees mode, okay. So uh, inverse tan 8 divided by 3, uh, add on 90 degrees, so 159. Okay, 159.44 dot dot dot. Okay, degrees. Uh, find degrees to one decimal place, so therefore it's going to be 159.4 degrees. Okay. And that is it. And that's our question. There you go, one of my favourite questions done. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you enjoyed doing the question. Okay, and I hope that you found that useful.